Hello everybody, this is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com and we're in Munich for the launch of the new Huawei Mate 30 series. And here's everything you need to know. Let's begin with the Mate 30 Pro, which is a top line model. Up front, it comes with a 6.53 inch flex OLED display, which stretches all the way to the edges at a stiff 88 degree angle, and that gives you a more immersive viewing experience. It is an OLED panel and it pushes a full HD Plus resolution. The display also has an in-display fingerprint sensor and like the P30 Pro, there's no earpiece at the top so it uses an embedded speaker underneath the display for voice calls. Under the hood, it runs on a Kirin 990 processor with 8GB of RAM and at least 256GB of storage. This device is a dual SIM device but can expand storage further via an NM card on the second slot. Another interesting feature about this camera is that it has a notch at the top and that notch actually houses a couple of new sensors including a gesture sensor. With the Mate 30 Pro, you can do hand gestures like this to get a screenshot or can use it to scroll up and scroll down. Another thing that's missing on the Mate 30 Pro is a physical volume rocker. Instead, they replace it with a touch sensitive uh, feature that you can use to control volume on both sides. To activate this, just double tap at the edges and can adjust your volume. And this also doubles up as a remote camera shutter button. In terms of imaging, the Mate 30 Pro gets a significant upgrade. It has two 40 megapixel cameras, one for main and another one for ultra wide angle. And instead of a periscope camera system, it goes for a standard 8 megapixel telephoto camera that can do 3 times optical zoom, 5 times hybrid zoom, as well as 30 times in digital zoom. The fourth camera is a 3D sensing camera. For selfies, the big notch in front houses a 32 megapixel selfie shooter. The Mate 30 Pro is powered by a huge 4,500 mAh battery and it supports 40 w Huawei Supercharge as well as 27 w fast wireless charging. Unfortunately, the device doesn't come with a headphone jack but it does have IP68 dust and water resistance. Moving on is the Mate 30 which is the smaller, oh wait, it's actually bigger now. So the Mate 30 comes with a 6.62 inch rigid OLED display so it's a flat panel that pushes a full HD Plus resolution. It also gets the same q 990 processor with 8GB of RAM and storage starts at 128GB on board. In terms of cameras, it's different from the Mate 30 Pro. It still gets a 40 megapixel main camera, but the ultra wide angle lens is using a 60 megapixel shooter. It also gets an 8 megapixel telephoto unit that has 3 times optical zoom and 5 times hybrid zoom. But there's no fourth camera. Actually, that fourth hole over there is used for the laser autofocus. Powering the Mate 30 is a rather large 4200 mAh battery. It also supports 40 watt supercharge by the cable as well as 27 watt wireless supercharge. And that's pretty good for a non-pro model. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with IP68 water resistance. It still gets a rather low IP53. But the good thing is, is that it comes with a headphone jack. Another biggest difference on the Mate 30 is that the notch is smaller but it doesn't come with a 32 megapixel selfie camera. The front camera on the small notch is a 24 megapixel shooter. And as usual, Huawei has also announced a Porsche Design Edition which is called Porsche Design Huawei Mate 30 RS. Essentially, this is a premium version of the Mate 30 Pro. But the difference is, it comes with 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. Huawei has also announced the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G Edition and this comes with a Kirin 990 processor with integrated 5G modem. And this supports a variety of 4G and 5G bands including NSA and SA standards so that makes it more future-proof when it comes to 5G rollout. It also supports a wide variety of TDD and FDD bands so that you can get connected anywhere in the world without any complications. During the launch event, Huawei CBG CEO Richard Yu has mentioned that all devices will be running on the latest EMUI 10 that's based on the latest Android 10. In terms of price, the Mate 30 is priced at 799 euros for the base model with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, whereas the Mate 30 Pro is priced at 1,099 euros and that comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. For the 5G version, that's going to cost you 100 euros more at 1,199 euros. For the Porsche design Mate 30 RS, whew, you gotta spend double the money because that's going for 2,095 euros. That's all for now from the launch of the Huawei Mate 30 series here in Munich. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our next video. Don't forget to check out the latest video here. And also another awesome video right here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next one. Bye!